hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a facebook share button using a javascript sdk so in my previous video i have shown you how you can uh, generate that uh, using iframe but uh, there was some problem in iframe the it may cause uh, a css conflict with uh, uh, your code in, uh, in html page so this is the simplest way uh, using the javascript i'm going to show you so let's go and check how you can create a Facebook share using a JavaScript SDK also. So if you want to know how you can create that using iframe, you go to the description, have another video for that. So now uh, let's go to the Facebook developer site. Just search for uh, the Facebook share in your Google. So you can get, uh, you will get the first link. It's a share button social plugin. Just open that. And if you are not logged into your uh, Facebook, it will ask for your login. So login and uh, go to this page okay so facebook share button page you can see here uh, first itself a share button configurator is there so uh, let's uh, go to the share button configurator configurator first so now you have to do is uh, just copy the link of your website or link of your page we for which you want to get the share button okay so for example i am uh, going to my website chillyfacts.com where uh, there is a page this one okay i am going to this page and i'm going to create a facebook share for this page so let me copy this link from here go to the share button social plugin page and just paste it down here and you can see here there is a uh, uh, different uh, modes like small and large so you can select any one of these one and uh, different button count option is there so you can select any of that also so I'm going to select a button count at the top and the button uh, size is small and just click on get. Yes, uh, the Facebook created uh, its own JavaScript code uh, which is ready to use. So I'll show you how you can use that. But now you can see here you can uh, step one is choose, uh, choose your app ID and language. So these are, are my apps which I have already created. If you don't have any apps here created, so just close this one. You can see here my app section here where you can uh, you can go to a, a page where you can create your own app. Just click on add an app and uh, the name I am giving it as uh, Java JS Sharer. You can give any uh, share sharer. You can give any name. So this is my contact email and just click on create app ID and uh, it's asking for um, the capture just fill out that and just submit it here and just wait for uh, your app id is to be created now it's uh, actually created your app id this is your app id but the page the facebook share page is uh, i mean the configurator page is gone so i'm going to say searching again facebook uh, share and I'm going it down to again that and copy this link again and come back to the configurator paste it here and just click on get code now you can see here that uh, app should have created here okay so there share is created here just select that and uh, uh, the default language put it english and now this is a ready to use javascript code as you can see here now it says as in step two is uh, saying you have to include this in your Page. so i'll show you how you can include this page before that this is the iframe one which i have told just you can just uh, copy this and uh, use in any way you want so as i told I have another video for that with all the settings which you can use in this iframe please uh, go and see that in my description the video is there so let's go back to the javascript sdk so uh, here there is a message the app is in development mode and uh, it's not available for publicly so the uh, the app was this one share just click on uh, on app dashboard and you can see here there is an option to make it public just click on yes and where the they will ask to give you a privacy policy url since we are going to uh, testing just go into add app and now click on add and setup and now you can you have to add your privacy policy url since i have uh, we are testing that we don't have any privacy policy url i'm just pasting my own website link there so embedding here user support mail i'm giving it as admin at the rate chillyfacts.com uh, and everything i'm putting is this mom and just select your category i'm getting it categorizing this one as education now save it 
now yes it's done now we can go back uh, and i believe let's go to the app dashboard again let's check it's no we have to make it public again just click on yes and it will ask your permission to make it public i am confirming it to make it public yes it's public now now if i'm just refreshing this one and uh, copying all that and generating that again generating that again uh just yes, sure you can see here now it's ready to use okay now i'm going to create a sample html page uh, in my pc so i'm going to create new uh, text and i'm giving the name as sharer and uh, uh, removing the extension as html i'm putting it as js underscore sharer okay so just press ok now uh, let me open this my notepad plus plus and as you can see it's an empty now let me add some basic html codes uh, inside this and uh, let's go for further adding the javascript code okay yes i have added uh, some basic html uh, tags so this is html uh, tag is uh, inside there is head section and the body section is there so let me copy uh, the code here so it's uh, saying like it's a uh, better to keep this idly right after opening the body tag so let's uh, do the same let me copy this code from here and come back to here so this is the opening of body tag so paste it here completely and uh, let's go and check another one so place this code wherever wherever you want on uh, the share up okay so let me copy this uh, same from here and paste it right down here okay i have just pasted everything and paste it all given some breaks there now, now let's try opening this page so let me open this one and see what is coming there okay oops what happened uh, it just came and gone so there is something uh, in the code let's see and check yes it's uh, a class it's uh, mentioning here we don't have any class like fp share but uh, let me remove this from here and try okay save it come back and if i'm just refresh this one yes the facebook sharer it's actually a, a link there we can check to uh, change it so now let's uh, try uh, this one let's try if i'm just clicking this one is directly taken to the sharer okay so these are the contents from my page this page okay so i have successfully created that uh, share option for my facebook page okay so if you need any custom one uh, we have to uh, put it by css i'll uh, show you that one also here now uh, in the share button configuration page we have seen something here uh, we can see here there is they are saying like og url og type og title and og image everything so what is this actually uh, we have to do it or not in my uh, this page you can see here in the share button you can see here the image is coming the heading is coming the uh, details of my uh, page is coming so uh, what wh how we can control this yes we can control this by using uh, some property meta property text like og url og type og title okay so i'll show you uh, in my page so this is my page let me go open my page source of this page so this page i have created is pure on uh, web, uh, WordPress okay so WordPress itself uh, automatically created uh, the OG title the OG description OG URL everything okay based on this OG uh, tags uh, our Facebook sharer will take some of the uh, specific uh, specific parameters in there for example this image okay so this image is in this you can see here OG image will be the so you can see here the og image is specified here it's uh, directly an image so let's check what is this image so this image should be this image which is uh, directly taken in our sharer okay so what about uh, this thing so this is og description i guess yes og description in this video i have shown you it's coming same right yeah in this video i have shown you till this new it's it is coming here as og description okay so one more uh, details is coming the uh, the heading so this og title so here it is og title rk which is so uh, 
is not does not exist so this is from og title okay so what if uh, this uh, as i told this is a, a wordpress website so if you are your website is also a wordpress website it uh, the wordpress will uh, itself create all these uh, meta property tags but what if if it is not an um, wordpress website so you will have to put all these data manually if it, you are not specified only uh, any of these data let's see what will happen okay so we have have just created a, a share for this page which which uh, is having all these uh, uh, properties tag or I mean the meta property tag now I'm going to show you a website so the website name is the code.us so this is my own website so this website I have uh, a created this uh, using PHP so I don't have any uh, uh, OJ tags uh, uh, meta property meta property tag uh, described in this one let goes to page source you can see here I don't have any uh, meta property tag inside this okay now I'm going to create a share for this one I'm going to copy in this link from here so go back to the share configurator paste this link completely here I'm going to get code and uh, I'm just pasting this all everything again so copying this completely come back to here and paste it here and same way copying this one and paste it here and uh, as I told we don't need this class FB share button okay so saving this now and let's go and just refresh this page and if I'm just going to share you can see here it's creating the share page but you can see here the uh, the as, as the previous one there is no image only the heading it's taken okay so the need of uh, adding this OG tag is that to uh, get the details of the page in the uh, in the share box okay so it will take if you if you uh, add this uh, meta property OG tags it will take the sharer uh, with all the details of the page uh, which is custom uh, which we can customly uh, arrange and uh, make it beautiful okay so hope you got this how you can create a, a ja Facebook sharer using uh, JavaScript SDK and what is the need of uh, this OG tag specified here okay so hope uh, you got this I have explained everything in detail if you uh, need if you have any doubt in this further you can comment below I'll be helping you and in my next video I can I will show you how we can customize this share so I'll share uh, the source code of uh, the one which we have created now in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching